Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So according to Microsoft, Windows 10 is set to reach its end of support date officially on the 14th of October 2025. So as we find ourselves now in this new year, that means we've got just under two years before the end of support, according to Microsoft for Windows 10. Now, as many of you may well recall, Microsoft launched and released Windows 11 to the general public in October of 2021 with the original release version 21h2 obviously hoping that um, windows 10 users would make a quick transition and migrate um, quite quickly over from windows 10 to windows 11 but as we know now in hindsight that was not the case and that was mainly due to the strict system requirements and um, to be upgraded from windows 10 to windows 11 which by the way as i've mentioned previously this laptop does not meet and those system requirements which are affecting a lot of users are the TPM and the CPU requirements, which I think a lot of you do find yourselves, uh, especially with your older Windows 10 devices, in the same predicament. Now, as mentioned, Windows 10, um, the end of support date is in October of 2025 next year. And obviously, Microsoft wants uh, you to transition over to Windows 11 by that date which has been met with a couple of uh, mixed feelings, debate, and so on in certain circles. And I posted a video on this because due to a couple of interesting scenarios, um, I personally don't think Microsoft will um, end support for Windows 11 on that date because there's too many factors to take into consideration. And in no particular order, the first one is that PRRG, um, Public Interest Research Group, as I posted, and I'll leave that video down below, um, basically launched a petition that, um, and they basically asked Microsoft to reconsider this move to end the, end the support for Windows 10 on that date. And uh, um, because they said that um, in their in this petition that they indicated that that move would lead to, and I'm quoting, the single biggest jump in uh, the landfill and junk computers ever so basically a lot of computers would be dumped um, unless you've got the skill and the know-how to move over to linux which can run quite um, okay on older devices especially linux mint light um, ubuntu and so on just to mention a couple of um, examples zoran os and uh, um, i'll leave that video down below if you'd like some more info now when it comes to market share and this is a big one for me Currently, Windows 10 is still sitting, give or take, around about 70% of the overall desktop market share when it comes to the Windows operating systems. With Windows 11 sitting in the early 20s, anywhere between 23 and 25, 26%. So that's quite a big chunk of market share that Windows 10 still has. So just for that fact alone, I don't think Microsoft would end support officially. And Microsoft has announced an ESU program, which stands for Extended Security Updates, where they've said that if you are an individual consumer or an organization who elects to continue using Windows 10 after support ends um, in October of 2025, you will have the option of enrolling your PC in the paid Extended Security Updates ESU program. And I'll also leave that video down below. So that's another point I don't think a lot of users um, will like as, is having to pay for Windows to get extended security updates. So that's another factor where I think Microsoft will extend support. And then another one, as I've been mentioning recently on the channel, is Microsoft is shipping out a couple of Windows 11 features. They are slowly rolling out the um, Windows Copilot, which is bringing centralized AI assistance to the Windows 10 desktop, very similar to what we get over on Windows 11, although I haven't received it yet because that is on a slow controlled rollout to the stable version. Um, there's a weather interface um, that's also coming, and I'm just mentioning a couple of examples here. And also one recent um, update was the Dev Home, um, which previously could not run on Windows 10, is now available for Windows 10. Um, as I posted the other day, and I'll also leave that video down below because it will just give you a little bit more info regarding Dev Home and be able to add and use a couple of interesting widgets on Windows 10 uh, just to uh, basically monitor your system resources um, 
like your CPU, memory, GPU, and so on. And these are just, just a couple of them I have got running. So this is also a Windows, a so-called Windows 11 feature. So and because they are now starting to add new features once again to Windows 10, where for at least two years or so, there were no major improvements to Windows 10. It just got little tweaks and adjustments kind of under the hood, so to speak. But now they are actually starting to roll out new features. So even just for that reason alone, I think that Microsoft will not end support. Read the title of this video saying and asking the question, will Microsoft reconsider cutting support for Windows 10? And the short answer for that personally is no. I don't think Microsoft will cut support for Windows 10 due to the different points I've mentioned today in this video. As I mentioned, Windows 10 still holds a huge chunk of the market share, despite the um, 14th of October 2025 getting closer. And currently, Windows 11 runs on approximately 400 million devices, and there are project projections that uh, it could be half a billion, 500 million devices by 2025, although that's just a guesstimate and a projection and not actually fact. But I still think, though, that um, Microsoft still needs to reconsider cutting support for Windows 10. And my main reason really is due to the big market share. I think Microsoft will be making a mistake where the OS has got such a big chunk of market share and they would be ending support. But let me know down in the comments. Um, do you think Microsoft will reconsider cutting support for Windows 10? I personally think so. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.